Hello and welcome to this guide on how to complete the Dark Tower. Um, I'm at uh, 698. Some of you might not be as far, but um, but essentially what you need to complete the Dark Tower is just copies of Lilith. Um, ideally, you would need six copies just to to have a team only of Lilith. Um, how this is going to work is that. Of course, as, as you might know, Lilith doesn't have an active skill. Instead, she has a passive um, where, the, where she links herself to allies adjacent in the same line. So um, essentially the two heroes right next to her. Um, and then what is important about this build is that every time she deals damage, she tags two Dark Moons on herself and the allies link with her for three rounds. And each of these dark moons will grant immunity to damage and then receive 100% of the damage as health instead, like as healing. Um, so whenever she's healed and she heals um, to max health, um, if she receives healing above max health, she will reflect 50% of the damage. Uh, so, um, so the reason this should work is that Lilith attacks first because it's uh, PvE, so usually your heroes are going to attack first. Just to show you how, how effective this is, I've kept all of the Liliths like without gear. If you see in the top of the screen, um, my team power is only 94,986. And I've just removed the Grimoire to show you that that, that doesn't really matter. I If you don't have six Lilith copies, I would say try to fill, fill in some of the spots with other heroes. Um, just as an example, I will just, uh, maybe you might not have a Balrog, uh, but Balrog's good in, in uh, Dark Tower just because he steals, steals attack. Um, <clears throat> this one, I think he's called Amon, um, is another hero that's good in here because he uh, deals uh, like a percentage of uh, of attack damage like 1500 percent attack damage or something um so i'll just try with only four liliths and these two just to show whether that works at all it might not let's have a look now bell rocks starting to okay now he's Petrified, that's a bit annoying. Yeah, this probably isn't going to work. I'll just do it with the six Lilith instead. It's probably going to be going to be more efficient. If Balrog hadn't been petrified, I'm fairly sure that uh, that Balrog would have finished them off. Now just the four the six Liliths instead. Let's see if they reflect enough damage to uh, to make this viable. There we go, three heroes dead. And there goes one more, there goes Thanatos. Yeah, there we go. And that's six naked Liliths, just uh, wiping the entire enemy team in Dark Tower. Just to show you that they can go the whole way, which I think they can, of course, as you know with Dark Tower, once you've uh, completed the level, you can't go back and, and replay it. Um, so, of course, I haven't really tested this out. It's just a hypothesis that they're able to clear the whole Dark Tower. Um, so far, they've worked quite well. I think I've completed five levels today just doing this. Um, and I thought it was just uh, an easy way to go about it. So I just wanted to show you how effective it is. So now the 700th level. Atena might be a, an issue because of the absorb shields. I'm not sure, but let's see. There goes one Erebus. There goes the second. There goes one Atena. There goes the second. And Erebus and just the Athena left. I 
Actually, maybe they won't be able to do it just because she makes the absorb shield. Huh. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. I'll um, I'll toss in the bell rock. The bell rock should uh, should do the trick. So you're not able to do the entire thing with just Liliths, but um, but certainly you'll get you'll get far. Let's just see bell rock wipe the team. That's it. That's how you complete the Dark Tower. So um, thanks for watching and uh, see you in the next one.